I think, I think they might have done it, but I think that probably would have fared better. Oh, oh, we've lost a front wheel as well. Uh, things have not gone well for the K-Series. Turns out it is not the best choice of car when it comes to a bar. Yeah, that's just dead. That is just completely... Wow. Um, oh, we lost a rear wheel as well. That, just the whole thing has completely collapsed. It's not going to be the radiator that gets it. It's going to... <laughs> I thought going for the non-sport suspension would be a good idea. I'm not sure it is. I wonder if it's just not got the strength to deal with these landings. I mean, it wasn't the smoothest landing of all time, that, but it wasn't that bad. The cars just can't survive it. Uh, we will still keep going. Surpri I thought we were going to be done for there. Now, the rule is if the car can't make it up a hill or if the car uh, can't make it around a corner without going into reverse, it will have failed. We are still going, but we are not going to clear this. Although, <laughs> to be fair, this probably... Oh, no. I was going to say it was going to be safer for the car, although we are going to get stuck, I think, getting up the other side. Oh, might even have a bigger problem. Uh, we snapped the... Ah. Yeah, I think the diff's gone in it as well. With the, the snapping of the uh, left wheel axle, it was wobbling around and it's still in one piece and it was still actually driving, but is it, when it snapped off fully, we've now got no drive going on either, so we can't climb up the other side. The K-Series has died. It has died long before the Covet did. The radiator went on the first small bump. The suspension went on the first big jump, and it went big time with the rear left and front right snapping off. We have got, yeah, one, one, ste one wheel working for steering and one wheel working for drive. At least they are, well, I say working for drive, it's not actually doing anything. Um, at least they are on opposite sides, but uh, yeah, that suspension could not deal with the shock of the landing. <laughs> and and that wasn't that wasn't a particularly terrible, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't perfectly smoothly lined up, but that's, that's, that's not good for the K-Series. Alright, we can get to a radiator. If we can now clear radiator springs nicely. Oh, we're not going to clear radiator springs nicely. We're not... Oh, wow. That's it. That's, that's the Barstow done. The drive shaft has gone before the radiator. That I think is a first. We have had quite a few cars go out with broken with broken drive shaft. It's a fairly common thing to see cars killed with. However, that is the Barstow the Barstow done. Well that's not quite what I expected at all. Um we are not the last place car. That honor still goes to the K series that was at Radiator Springs. This uh having just about made it across the jump yeah landed snapped the drive shaft i mean the chassis is not even that bent compared to what quite a few cars have had and kept going apparently apparently in fact the truck that did a front flip made it slightly further the <laughs> barstow has i think that drive shaft snapped just around the corner the barstow's weak point is the drive shaft we've hit that jump in a very similar way with a number of cars and all of them have kept going might have killed the radiator quite a common thing to have go at radiator springs but they've all kept going the barstow the weakest point on this car is the drive shaft and that is not a good thing to have when trying to survive this sort of a circuit we can do it we need about 40 miles an hour across the jump we are not going to get 40 miles an hour Woo! we're going to get a front flip from the truck <laughs> <laughs> I think there is more problems than just stuff stuck underneath it. Right, so let's get it through the gears, see if we can get it moving again. We can see the, the issue is I think perhaps the bent chassis is now causing problems for our drive. And perhaps, I, uh, I think it's our diff that's causing it the most problems now. Because the entire chassis is twisted, it is only wanting to spin one wheel. So we've got a serious deficiency in power. We are still working. The truck is still drivable here, but we are going to have issues, I think, getting across the jumps. There goes the drive shaft. Yeah, the chassis was so buckled early on that uh, we could not... Well, we go, we're going to coast our way through these, uh, through a corner. 
the the front flip killed it. it while it, it didn't physically murder anything important, amazingly, because we don't have the speed to get up the hill to take Radiator Springs, we hit <laughs> a front flip with the truck and buckling the chassis meant so we, we couldn't put any power down and as soon as we took the next jump, I mean, you can kind of see it landed on the middle and that snapped the drive shaft. So the truck, while at spectacular, briefly, I'm not sure if this wins the spectacle award or the pigeon, to be honest. A pigeon rolled many times, but a complete front flip in a truck is not bad. Well, I say a complete front flip. A spectacular front flip in a truck is not bad going. Yeah, that, that did not did not last particularly long. Our suspension is taking an utter, utter battering. And the downside, you know, the, the issue with that, what we saw with the Legronic bouncing the car around us, I don't think it's going to happen with this because it's broken in a different way. Oh, we've, we've taken the wheel axle out on the landing and that might be a covert down. Have we got any go about it still? No, no, I don't think we have. I think we might have even beached it anyway. <laughs> we have got one-wheel drive going on in our covert. The Legron could actually keep itself going when it was one-wheel drive. My car cannot. I think what also might have happened is the suspension is so broken, you can see how much the suspension is broken on that side, that uh, we are now beached. Even if we could get that wheel somehow to get on the ground, I don't know if we can actually go anywhere. It was also on fire for most of the journey. Uh, the engine is now, and yeah, you can see the damage done to the front of the car. Just so many heavy impacts on the front. It did survive some jumps a lot better. However, overall, the strength of the car, not quite that of the Legron. One nasty hit, and that is the Covert out. To be fair, if we keep landing on the front left side, I'm okay with that. We can damage the front left as much as we like now. That is of no consequence to this car's ability to drive, unless we lose a, unless we lose the other drive, unless kind of like the uh, shock through the front of the car destroys the other side's drive shaft, or we twist on the landing. Oh, that snapped it. That snapped it. We can't go anymore. We have got no steering. <laughs> oh, we couldn't make it to the end of the first lap. We've, we've lost steering. The, you can see the steering wheel wiggle, but uh, both of the front wheels have uh, completely snapped. I think we do still have drive to it, uh, oddly enough, but uh, the steering part of it is gone. The rear wheels were okay, uh, but uh, it's just they're not strong enough. They are simply not strong enough. The wheels on these cars, all the suspension and so on, the axles, etc., on this car to survive... Yeah, it's, it's landing these jumps with a bit of speed, with a bit of force, but certainly no more than a lot of other cars that have gone around here. And this is having its wheels just, yeah, snap off completely. Uh, <laughs> it's spectacular, and it certainly crawled around impressively well for a car with three wheels for a lot of that. However, it's just too easy to break that, and loose steering, that will very much be run over. It has survived a couple of big crashes. Our rear suspension is destroyed. The rear suspension is absolutely collapsed on this, uh, which is, uh, well, less of a concern than the front suspension. However, it's still quite impressively collapsed at the moment. Oh, we've lost the front left wheel axle across these jumps. The, <laughs> the rear wheels are doing all sorts of peculiarities. Uh, we've still got drive, we've still got steering, despite that wheel axle death. Uh, piston rings are gone. We've lost power, and the engine's shut off. Oh, it's made it about the same distance as the Stance Pazima. I think that died around. I think that died on the landing of this jump and rolled a little bit further with the drive shaft gone. That is impressively quick overheating from the uh, from the Charman there. The suspension was ruined, and the front left the front left. Is the wheel is still attached and it's still steering, so I don't quite know what broke in the front left. But, uh, yeah, that went very, very quickly. That's by far the fastest overheating we have seen.
Come on. Oh, I thought it had died. No, it was just the gearbox. <laughs> it's just the terrible gearbox trying to find a gear. Oh, these jumps aren't going to be fun. We could get away with just sort of slowly going across the motocross ones, but these ones we're going to hit the ground hard. Hit the ground very hard indeed. That's actually killed the engine. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all it's got. It's not overheated. It's not an overheating problem with the Pazima. <laughs> We did so much damage to the front, eventually the bumper just, well, couldn't absorb any more. And then we were hitting the engine, and it would eventually kill it. I'm amazed we've made it as far as it did. It outdrove the Covert. It's got further than the Covert, the ETK K-Series, and the truck. Hasn't quite made it as far as the Legron. It is still down towards the bottom of the table. I, yeah, really thought this would go out a lot quicker. I'm amazed it almost made it to a complete lap. But suspension so hopelessly, hopelessly damaged. I do think the way it was so buckled up, slowing us down enough that across the motocross sections, we weren't taking as big a hits as we could have been, potentially, despite going as fast as I could. Um, yeah, that might, have, that might have helped it slightly. But first big jump, land on the engine, cambers and toes, everything's broken at the front in terms of steering and the back in terms of alignment. But it could have been worse. I was expecting worse from the, uh, the stanced Pazima.